What's up guys? Super interesting video. I'm just going to vlog my day because I honestly think today might be <clears throat> one of the most interesting days I'll have in a while. I'm not necessarily shooting today, but I'm going to be a part of some creative uh, video shoots later on in the day. And I'm uh, going to be checking out H Street Festival, which is a really big sort of Washington DC festival. And that'd be really exciting. But right now, I look like complete shit. I need to take a shower. I'm, I'm getting ready right now. And uh, I'm going to be jumping on the metro and going into the city. And so yeah, I want to take you guys with me. It'll be a super exciting day. See what it's like. Day in the life of a uh, Washington DC photographer. Okay, you know, I'm popping. I'm low-key popping. We're getting there, guys. So let me get ready. Let me clean my hair. I just shaved so I look like a freaking broken condom. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to head out, jump on the metro, and go to this festival. Real talk. Uh, making breakfast right now. Whoosh, big fat ass breakfast because to be completely honest, I don't want to spend any money while I'm out. So as much as I can possibly save because my ass is so cheap right now. So just gonna make this fat breakfast, even got like oatmeal and then I'll head out. And with my stomach just so full of shit that I won't be able to spend $20 on like a hot dog. Just wanted to document how absurd my breakfast is this morning. It is never this epic. But this is me pretty much loading up for the day. <laughs> wow, even the goddamn multi bites. Just got to the metro. And you know, sometimes I think you just gotta roast yourself, so I'm just gonna roast myself for two seconds. Because my fuckboy status and the cheesiness of my outfits just get worse and worse. For example, I wear these pants and shoes. This is like my every weekend day combo. It's so sad, but it looks good with everything. I like it. Um, and you know, if you're gonna measure your fuckboy level, you gotta measure it by the amount of accessories you have. So it'd be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Level, level seven fuckboy right now. When you kick out, it's goodbye. I wanna kick the door because you make me cry, but it ain't gangsta. All right, just got to Union Station. So this is Union Station, and I'm standing in a spot that I recommend a lot of photographers come if you need like a quick location. Uh, the Union Station is kind of a very quintessential DC landmark slash. Uh, like place of uh, transportation. Pretty cool. If you're in DC, definitely check it out if you need a quick location. This is Hopscotch Bridge. I actually filmed a fashion video here before I wish we were like that you can like see on my YouTube channel. It was pretty cool. Came out okay. <laughs> and it still ain't a goddamn thing they could tell me what. Right at the end of it, and then there's this guy. Right, this guy. That's disgusting. Come on, Dario, help me out with your hands. Big shout out to all my thick Indian women. We appreciate you. Okay. No shame to the king. Oh, came across my buddy Evan's uh, clothing line right here. Glass of water. Actually, if you should for him. Here he is right here. Evan! What up? What's up? 
everything <laughs> we're special Man. pricing today at our flash pop-up here in Smith Commons hey. that, that, that logo that one on the t-shirt right where'd you find that at on the bar up there oh okay cool right on oh. what is this all uses cotton is this polyester it's a, I think it's a 50 50 blend right all right day two I was actually at the homie Chris's in his uh, pop-up last night as well for A Street Eve and I wanted to come by again and say hey and instead of drinking I'm, I'm like sipping on the spin drift just kind of playing the cool right now festival walked off a little bit so I could just check in and say what's up super cool seeing Chris super cool seeing uh, I don't know everything going on I'm not gonna lie the level of like designers and everything was kind of subpar whatever I don't know I don't want to get too far into that one but I respect everyone's hustle and I re really respect this wall back here what I actually did a shoot right around here uh, like last year one of my first blogger shoots and also dude I ran into one of the hottest girls I have ever seen in my life and got her Instagram yeah you're probably thinking why don't you get the number but the Instagram is just as good because now we can creep on each other or maybe I can creep on her <laughs> just kidding guys just kidding so I'm actually gonna go to this coffee shop on the corner grab a cappuccino and uh, take a fat piss and then just get on the goddamn Metro and meet up for this fashion video Peace. see you at the coffee shop I don't know Boom, just got to Dolcezza where everyone's meeting a little early, so I got the cappuccino. Uh, feeling super hungry, so I might do that. And everyone who works here is like six foot and above, what the fuck. But um, we're going to be shooting a fashion video for the upcoming Exotic Goods exhibition in November. I'm not actually going to be doing anything with the video, I'm just kind of here to document for some BTS, and just kind of moral support and maybe a little creative direction because me and Jamie were arguing about like what she should be wearing and I think I'm right, I think I'm right. My, my favorite person ever finally made it and she's looking like fall goth. It's October now, it's look, look, finally feeling like October. Looking like hipster, hipster it's dream girl. Milk, not oh, okay. It's not and the best, Jeff. We're here with Jeff. What's Yo, up, Jeff? How you doing? Good. Jeff is the videographer today. And so I am just here to give advice and not do anything. Give advice? <laughs> I'm here to give opinions. There you go. That's... Wow. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what looks better, the yellow or the red. Yes. Well, I'm open to both. What do you think, Chef? Whose side are you on? Pick a side. Don't here. tell him to pick a side. You have to pick a side. Don't be impartial. You doesn't have to be. I can be. Maybe we'll just wear the red. That'd be a good idea. Because I'm looking at, see, I can be swayed. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But don't, I'm a Jeff, Scorpio, I'm stubborn. Jeff, Jeff, she was, I could tell, she was busting out the master argument strategies. <laughs> Dude, I'm just, she, like, she was busting was out the like, master argument. Yeah, she, like, she, 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 hey, hey, she was like screenshotting old conversations and, and then and then she like used like what I said in the past against me. I was like, wow, she's good at this. Literally, but what, it's true though. Literally, but it's literally, true though. Like, it's true. I was like, I also. Literally. <laughs> 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 She definitely was an argumentative little child. I could tell. She definitely got her way a couple 
sometimes. I'm not gonna go. I'm an only child. Me too. I think only this child. Is, this is why we're that, like. This is why. This is why we butt heads because we're both only only children. I was talking to Michelle this morning. She's like, "You'll be fine. Um, calm down." I'm like, "I'm fine. I'm okay." <laughs> Right now, we are about to shoot a uh, video portion of the Exotic Goods exhibition, and Angie, who was in my last exhibition, is going to be uh, in the video, like the main person for the video. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, so let's film in the video. How's it going, Jamie? I'm good. I'm not the Exotic Good, but she is. Sensitive caffeine? No. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna ask for an extra shot, but it's 6 p.m. So no. Go like. You don't want to see a triple espresso. Wait, 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 wait. Stay right where you are. Turn your head straight, and then just stick your tongue out. A little further. <laughs> it looks like you're making out with this guy behind you. Ew. <laughs> You gotta make out the. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's like, she's like. Oh. Wow. Oh she, went to, she, she went to go. She went to go kiss the guy's I'm not, tongue. I'm so sorry. I'm not. I was, I, was like, I was like, wait a minute. Wait, what just happened? I'm like, so sorry. Jamie, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> That was my fault though, I kind of triggered that. That was great guys, good stuff. <laughs> Angie, Angie, how's it going uh, just walking, being a walking snack, how's it going for you? Walking snack! <laughs> you're probably still like, what the fudge is going on? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Well, you're also, you're also going to be um, a model for one of the actual photos too, right? Remember? We're doing after your work? That's going to be crazy. Oh yeah, I gotta ask how you feel about being a little nude. Now's probably not the time to ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, I am being the bigger man I'm right now. You know it? Wow. 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 <laughs> wow, take it all in. This will be the one moment where I confide. You know it? It's fine. You know what? I'm the bigger man here. It's okay. You can have this little win. You can have this little win. <laughs> Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank I you. Th th we just met, but thank you. Yeah, hello. All right, I just want to document this. I was talking to this hey. guy on the train. This is Leo. I am Leo. Never thought I'd see him again. Yeah. Look who we found. <laughs> so, Leo, this is, this is the last time we're going to meet in life, and so if I ever see you again. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I'll, I'll just fall from the sky one day into your bathroom. <laughs> All right, man. Well, it, was, it was good meeting you, dude. Yeah, it was the best meeting you, too, man. Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> All right, guys. Luckily, Angie gave me a ride home from DC, or not home, but to my car at the Metro. So thank you, Angie. But she was just talking to me about how I should do workshops uh, out of my studio, just teaching. And I think you're 100% right. That is a genius idea. I'm gonna do it because I could use some extra money. I'd love to teach. And I think people would, would really go for it. I would appreciate that. Yeah. I like your photography skills. Hey. But anyways, Angie, thank you so much. I appreciate the ride. My night is not over. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, last stop of the day. About to go see my friend and client, Elena, at this really fancy wine bar called Brute over there. She's a very fancy person. So, like, chill to her means fancy to me. And this is probably going to be one of those occasions. Oh, Here's my friend, Elena. Drinking wine. Last spot. Those are her best friends. Those are all of her best friends. It's their birthday. <laughs> Still haven't eaten. I am starving. We're just drinking our wine. Look, right where I started. <laughs> But I got home and completely forgot to do an outro. It is now 6.30 in the morning because I could not sleep for shit. So I figured why not just edit this vlog while I'm up. I mean, I have to be up in two hours anyway, so let's be productive. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this vlog. The, my adventure around DC, the H Street Festival. 
the uh, exotic goods shoot and hanging out in Alexandria uh, yesterday. Yesterday, I right, yesterday it was a lot of fun. And thank you for watching. Much love. Hope you, if you like the vlogs, want me to keep them coming, let me know. Peace.